Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Mamie Hunt. She is an FFA member, the president at Warren East Chapter. Good morning, Mamie. Good morning. Now, Mamie, we're celebrating National FFA this week. Tell me a little bit about FFA. FFA to me has really just been a family, like a second family to me. I love my family at home, but whenever I'm at school and we go on tons and tons of trips um, around the state and outside of the state, so I spend all kinds of time with them outside of school on my weeknights and everything, and so it's just been a second family. My uh, officer team are some of my best friends. My advisors have been second parents to me, and they really have impacted my life, and so is just you meet so many people from at National Convention from around the world, and you'll be at just in town, or you'll be at another FFA event, and you'll see somebody that you met from another state, and that's just a great feeling because you know them and you have a connection with them. Absolutely, the networking there. Yeah. Now, I know you and your family are active in the Warren County Cattlemen's Association. Yes. That's how I met you. But tell me a little bit about Mamie. I'm a senior at Warren East High School. We live in Three Forks, Kentucky. We have a beef cattle farm, and I actually just rented my own farm, and I'm about to start my own herd. I'm really excited about that. And um, I'm the Warren East FFA president and the Barron River Region reporter. All right, so you have a regional leadership role as well. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, being the president of my chapter, you know, you work closely with the people at Warren East High School, but whenever you're a regional officer or just a part of a region, you get to connect with all the schools in your region, and that, I mean, we all share a common ground. We all live in the same area. Mm -hmm. um, we might be an hour away from each other, but we all are still close, and so it gives us, whenever we meet together, it gives us just something to talk about and connect with Absolutely. everybody. Absolutely. You kind of have the same foundation. Yes. So when you talk about FFA, you talk about a lot of leadership roles mm -hmm. that you've had. Do you feel like it's improved your leadership skills? Yes. I definitely think that I know how to lead a group better now. You're not, you're not the boss. You're leading them. And so um, leading my chapter has just taught me a lot, and I think it's helped me go towards my career goals. So I'm so excited. And all the skills we learn help our employability skills too. We give speeches and stuff like that and that's very important for public speaking and all kinds of aspects in our life. Absolutely. Now I also noticed that you have a photography business and yes. that was part of your FFA experience. Yes. Awesome. Um, I have known a lot of people who are not in the agriculture industry and they don't know much about it, have the false idea of what it is. They think lots of farmers are out to, you know, hurt the environment, hurt animals, stuff like that. And that's definitely not the truth. So I like to take pictures of nature and farmers in their natural, you know, yeah. doing their thing. And so I like to, you know, showcase those for the people who don't know about agriculture and it changes their idea. They yeah. have false images of farming and stuff. So, so you kind of bring awareness yes. through photography to agriculture, and I think that's awesome. What are some of your favorite activities in FFA? I think my favorite thing we do is FFA week because every school in the, in the United States is celebrating it, and that's just so exciting because um, they may be thousands and thousands of miles away, but we're all celebrating the same thing, and most of us have similar, you know, activities we do, dress-up days. My favorite thing that we do is the petting zoo. Lots oh, of people bring wow. their farm animals into our ag shop and outside in our ag lot. And um, kids I bet from. That's popular yes. amongst the whole school. <laughs> kids from all over the school get to come out there. And it's so exciting because most of them will never see a cow. Most of them will never see a horse or a goat. And that's, they get so excited when they go outside and get to pet on them. And that'll be the only time they'll probably ever see them. And you know, a lot of people think Warren East, that that's a rural area. Mm -hmm. So that every kid has had experiences with the farm, but they haven't. That's definitely not true. I've seen several that have never seen an animal like that in their life, and they, they are really excited to come out there. Absolutely, and they might not go into the agriculture industry, but they have an appreciation, and you guys bring that to yes. them, and I think that's awesome. So, Mamie, tell me a little bit about maybe some future plans. Um, I have, Since I've been in FFA for four years, my advisors, like I said earlier, are very, I'm very close with them. They're like second parents to me, and that has led me to the decision to become an agriculture teacher whenever I graduate college. So um, about four years ago, I knew I wanted to be something in the agriculture industry, but there are so many jobs out there, so I hadn't set anything in stone, but 
ever since I've worked closely with my advisors, that has made me realize I want to be that for students in the future. Yeah, and I think that's awesome because normally when you hear people talk about their FFA advisor, it's, they always have really good memories. Yes. And they've always helped them develop as a person, and I think that's super important in the role they play. There's a reason that they do that job. They love it. They I know they do. It. Just like farmers, right? Yes. We all have that. It may not be exciting and happy all the time, but there's a reason that everyone keeps doing it. They love it. Thanks, yeah. Mamie, for being here with Thank us you. today, and we appreciate you watching and hope you have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.